Hey everyone, it's Rhino415. I'm doing something a little bit different today. We have a Pokemon card video. It's a Scarlet and Violet 151 complete master set that my girlfriend and I put together. It's been one of our new hobbies recently and I figured I would just, you know, make a video with the binder. So I'm just going to start flipping through the pages. Um, but basically we just organized it with, uh, we have this top loaded with just, you know, the commons, uncommons, the reverse hollows, and then the EXs. So I'll just, you know, do some talking while I flip through the, each page here. Basically, I grew up a Pokemon video game fan and red, blue, and yellow. I never really got too much into the cards. I think that um, I would have, you know, my parents buy me cards or I would get I would get them as, you know, Christmas presents and things like that. But I was never really trying to, like, build a collection. And my cousin this past Christmas, he's really big into cards. So he got me a really nice Christmas present, the Ultra Premium Collection with the Mew on it for 151. That came with 16 booster packs. And so, you know, we got a couple good pulls in that one. I think we got like, you know, the Zapdos Special Illustration Rare and things like that. So we decided to keep buying packs. We got, you know, some ETBs with the Snorlax on it. We got, I think from like Target and Best Buy had some booster bundles. And then Costco had a really good deal on like these Zapdos EX and Alakazam EX boxes. So that was just, it was just really addicting to start opening, you know, packs and trying to get a lot of the cards. And it got to the point where we realized like, hey, we might be able to, you know, collect all the cards in the set. Um, but we realized that it was like, financially not feasible to do because it, it cost so much money and we, you know there were just certain cards that we were unable to pull so we looked up online and, and we realized that out here in the bay area they have a lot of card shows like where you know these vendors come and you can go and buy cards and you know trade and sell even you know trade duplicates and things like that so we started to, you know, look for like the ultra rares that we didn't have and that was really fun to collect and it got to the point too where we were trying to get the reverse hollows and that was hard because, you know, when you go to these shows, the vendors bring their, you know, their, their quote unquote nice cards, right? They don't have, a lot of vendors don't have like the reverse hollows that, you know, that we needed so it took a while it took it took a good amount of shows out here to go and get and we finally did it so it, i'm realizing it's a very expensive hobby and now we're getting to the cool part on the binder here with the illustration rares you get bulbasaur ivysaur charmander charmeleon squirrel squirrel's my favorite pokemon and war turtle you're gonna get more illustration rares on this page and then you start to get to like the full art ultra rares. I really like this Blastoise here. These are probably two of my favorite pages on in the binder. I really do like the full art cards. And then when you come to this page here, these are kind of like the, the heavy hitters with the special illustration rares. We pulled the Venusaur. We had to buy the Charizard and had to buy the Blastoise. And then you get the hyper rares here in the gold. And then we, you know, we closed out the binder here with promo cards we got um, from the Ultra Premium Collection here, the ETB, the Poster Collection, and then, like I mentioned earlier, the Zapdos EX boxes and the Alakazam EX boxes. And then we threw some energies here. So I appreciate anyone watching this. I'm filming this. I'm going to send this video link to friends and family to show off this binder. So for anyone watching this, let me know what you think and please subscribe to my channel.